Hi everyone, it's Anne from Positively Papercraft and I'm back today because I wanted to use this die that I got in with my design team stuff from Alina. Uh, so yeah, beautiful. I really wanted to use this and also this long kind of like butterfly die. So we're going to make a pretty box. I've already gone ahead and cut that butterfly out so I've got two pieces of grey card which should be 10 by 10 I think um, well yes they are they're both 10 by 10 so we're gonna score one of them at two inches on all four sides okay so this will be the base <coughs> excuse me so two Okay, that's our base, and then for our lid, we've got exactly the same size 10 by 10. And we're going to do what we did with the little boxes in the embellishment box the other day. We're just going to slightly pull it off the side of the board and then score two. I'm going to put this over there then I know that's the lid so if we just come back to our base here Folding burnish. And then our squares, as so we've got four boxes in the corner, we are going to just cut up and then just remove a little bit in the corner, just like that. And rotate it again so we're always cutting the bottom right hand corner that I've got another piece of paper that I'm going to put on in the inside of the box okay so I'm going to glue that down and that measures Should be just under six yeah it measures five and seven eighths square This is beautiful paper. I'm going to show you where it's from in a second. It's another first edition paper called um, The Promise. Absolutely beautiful. 
which is this one here and honestly it is gorgeous look at some of those beautiful and that is like wallpaper so that's what we're using so we need to glue our little tabs together so we're going to put some glue on here stuck down that's the inside that's the base of our little box put that to one side and then we're going to move on to the lid so we're just going to do exactly the same as what we did with the base We're not going to glue it together just yet. I'm gonna have to pop the light on I'll be back in a second I think that's a bit better now that I've put the light on so this is going to be the top of our box so what I've done is I've cut a piece of this matte foil to five and seven eighths by five and seven eighths and then I've cut this paper just one eighth of an inch shorter and then that's like going to be the layer of the beautiful butterfly so I'm going to glue these on isn't that gorgeous it's so pretty and then we'll do that last I think so we're going to stick it together because then what I was going to do was I cut out the die that I was talking about and I cut one of the butterfly, I cut two out and then I cut one of the butterflies off each end because when this goes together like this what I was going to do was I was going to wrap it around the front of the box so we're going to try that as well so we'll stick this together I should have done it's okay right so absolutely beautiful so what I'm going to do now is I've I guess say I've cut these out and then I've just slotted them in which is the way they go together anyway and then I don't know I think what I'll do is I'm just going to have it on the front and just snip them off because if I bend it round it's going to stop in the middle you could cut it out again and just trim them bits off and add them on but yeah I think I'm just gonna glue it on the front and then trim the rest off so I'll just put some glue on here 
hope I'm putting it to the right place because I don't want to get glue all over my scissors either. No, I need a little bit more. That looks about right. And as I said, this is another one of Alina's beautiful dies. Absolutely gorgeous this really is. Just make sure it's straight. Looks about straight. And then I'm just gonna simply get the scissors and just trim that off. That beautiful. Now there's nothing stopping you going around the box and doing all the sides if you wanted to. Nothing stopping you at all. But I think for now I'm just gonna do do the top. Now let's hope the lid fits. It should. Yep. Yeah. It's perfect, be isn't that just absolutely beautiful? And then what I'm going to do is I've got, I've just got a little, well I'm saying little, it's not a little, I've got a case of roses, I just keep like foam roses, paper roses in, so I think I'm going to have a pink and a cream, maybe it's too cream, um, and then I might have a couple of these paper ones as well. Now, I don't know because I'm quite tempted to actually do this another three times and put them all around the box. Because this could be like a really special box, couldn't it? Like a wedding gift or something, whatever you want. So I don't know if I do, it'll be on the photographs of the, um, when you see the start of the video. So I'm going to have, I'm just going to pop them in the corner like this. Absolutely gorgeous. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to stick the first. I'll just put that as a reference. I know that I want that down there. So as I said, I've got the glue gun on. It looks like I'm going to have to put another glue stick in. Isn't that absolutely beautiful? I think it is anyway. So yeah, that you can see you could go around and put the whole thing if you wanted to. But yeah, it would be a beautiful box for something special. And I think it might be worthwhile punching um, a couple of little finger holes in the side of here actually. that's it I will put all the links um, for Alina's dies in the description and also on my blog but yeah I just think that is so pretty absolutely beautiful so I hope you've enjoyed it hope it's given you some more inspiration um, and I'll be back again very soon with lots more videos so thanks for watching Take care and bye for now.